Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. As you may notice, there's an empty chair here. That's because I'm going to be asking Wendy to blind taste test three different wines to figure out the tasting notes and maybe even the brand and the type of wine that it is. Now she is a professional psalm, so she knows her wine types. She knows what is in tasting notes and a lot of different brands. So I'm excited to see if she has no idea what the bottle is, if she can detect what it is. So yeah, let's, let's see if she's got it. <laughs> All right, so the first type of wine we're gonna be trying is a rosé from Mission Hill. See, my mom used to work at Mission Hill and she would sell a lot of these wines. And so I'm curious if she's able to detect that this is the wines that she used to sell and it's a very popular rosé. A lot of people love this rosé. So that's going to be exciting. So let's see if she can detect this one. And so for our second wine, we're going to be doing the Pothic Red. So Pothic Red is the one that my mom first had me try when I was able to start drinking alcohol. In Canada, it is 19. So she had me try this with a bar of chocolate and she was asking me the tasting notes with this and chocolate. And so you can see where our channel name came from because all the way back then, it was all about pairing fun things with wine. So I'm excited to see if she can actually pick out this one because this was a fam, like a family favorite wine for quite a while. And it's got a very certain taste. So I feel like she might know what this is. And so this is gonna be our last wine that we're gonna be trying. And this is my wild card because my mom, she doesn't love a lot of sweet, sweet wines. And so this is a red sangria. So there's a lot of like sweetness added to it. And it's just very bold. I know this is my best friend's favorite um, one. So I wanted also to bring my best friend and showcase her favorite drink as well. So, all right. So I'm going to go grab my mom. I'm going to blindfold her so she cannot see any of the wines and then I'll pour the drinks. So I'll go grab her. So I got my mom now. So how are you feeling about this? Nervous? Yeah. So here's your blindfold. Shoot. So I can pour the first one without you knowing what bottle it is. You there. Can, you can try and see if you can hear any sounds. Oh, it sounds like a Zinfandel. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Depends where it's from. It could be pretty heavy. It's in a glass bottle, not in a can. Whoa. Hey, I get the clues where I can. All right, take off your blindfold. God, it's bright. <laughs> <laughs> it's like summertime. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so it's a rosé. Mm -hmm. Clear. You got that? <laughs> I got that. <laughs> it's a rosé. All right, so first thing you do is you look at it and look for clarity. So are there any, is there anything weird floating in here? Because <laughs> some, some different winemakers um, filter their wine differently. Okay. So there's one here in town that the filter is really different and mm. sometimes there's grape skins like oh. stuck to the inside of your glass because they made it all the way into the bottle. Is so that, that is wanted? very, I would say not really, um, yeah, I'd say not, but it seems like it's a choice. Because when I was there tasting it, I'm like, hey, and they went, ha ha. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sometimes like a really young wine can, especially around the rim, because it's really thin at the rim, right? And the mm -hmm. light plays a little different. You can see hints of green or even like copper coming in and that'll give you a clue to a varietal or also to so age. So if you can see any type of copper, isn't that hard to see in a rosé? It would be, yeah. Okay. But it would just look like it, it has a darker rim. Okay. And it's like, oh, well, there's something going on here. We've got a different rim color. So that would be something to note. And this is where it's good to taste wine and smell wine in a group mm -hmm. because I might smell something 
and you wouldn't smell it and the other way around and we're both right. So whatever you're smelling is what you're smelling. Like you can't be wrong with it. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a very light smell. I will not help you though in this case. You will not help me. I, I know the notes of these. Okay. So if I smell and I say the notes, that's just giving away everything. But I agree in a group setting when you all are tasting wine and you're all like smelling it and you're just like picking apart what you love from it, that's where mm -hmm. I think wine and drinking wine is fun. Yeah. Is where yeah. you can have fun smelling it and tasting it. Yeah, yeah, in a group. Or somebody will say, I don't know what it smells like, but it reminds me of. Mm -hmm. And then you can pull apart that memory. So what's, yep. what are the smells in the memory? Like for me, I would say, I don't know what this smells like, but it reminds me of a summer flan, like a tart. Um, it's got berries on it, definitely has berries. So I go for the berries. What are the berries? Strawberry and raspberry is what I'm smelling on here. A little bit of maybe residual rhubarb, but more of a melon, um, honeydew a little bit, maybe watermelon, kind of not Jolly Rancher-ish, but it's moving into that candied kind of Kind, kind of a candied aspect. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I, I won't know. It smells like it's going to be mildly sweet, but we won't know until we taste it. Anyways. Cheers. Should we taste it? We can taste it. Okay. So it's dry. Highly mm -hmm. acidic. Okay, so the acidity in the wine, you can tell that we will, <laughs> when we're selling you the wine, we won't say this is acidic. We'll say this is lively. We'll say this is mouthwatering because <laughs> it is so acidic that I'm like drowning. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so this is going to be amazing with food. Yep. A little freaky deaky on its own because it's so acidic. But it's like yeah. In uh, old world wine tradition, wine is part of a meal. In new world, we'll drink anytime, anywhere, no matter what. Yeah. So we'll sit on a patio and just sip wine with nothing eating with it. So this one wants to be with food. Mm -hmm. Who are you? I'd say this is made from Merlot. It is a local Okanagan Valley Rosé and I don't know who made it but do you it's feel any young. nostalgia do I feel nostalgia any memories coming back when you drink it of this exact wine or the years prior it could be um, could be a blend like if it's a blended wine, could even go with like, this might be uh, Pinotage plus maybe Viognier or, Did somebody do that here? Okay, it's from, <laughs> 2022 Okanagan Valley, The View Winery, Pink Elephant Rosé. Close, you got the exact year. I got the year. You got the well, year. that's good. But, and you connected that you did work at The View. Uh-huh. But you also worked at another place. <sighs> okay, I worked in the... You worked in, she worked in many, <sighs> okay. but this, is a Mission Hill. This is a Mission Hill Rosé. This Rose. is a Mission Hill Rosé. Which one? The Reserve. Okay. But you got the year down. Way to go, Mission Hill. Well, yep. Mission Hill's Cab Franc is... Mm. It's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. But you got it nice place. being in the Okanagan and the year. Yay! That's really good. Thank you. Do, 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 This is fun. I should brush up on my <laughs> tune up my nose again. All right, you can take off your blindfold. 
good luck. That's a great luck. <laughs> thank you, you thank you. Oh. Wow. Cheers. All right, so this is this is really young. See how purpley it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, grab our white. I like, forgot to look at the year, so I won't know if you're correct or not. Yeah, I would say this is this is a young young boy. Um, this one here is another uh, 2021, maybe 2022. It's very young, but it's let's see. It's clean. Oh wow. I think this is a blend. Again, you're hitting me with blends, like the hardest things in the world. <laughs> it's got a rim though, it's got a white rim on it. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of extra there. And let's see. Big, big, big fruit. It's not particularly strong, kind of like right in here. Oh, I think I know what this is. Very distinctive taste, even though they make this blend year after year. This is Southern California. When I was describing this wine, I was saying it had a very distinctive taste. Oh yes, yeah. And it's it's off off dry, so it's not quite a sweet wine. I'd say this is probably sitting at about 15 grams of sugar per liter, where an, a dry red wine will have less than 10, usually sitting around one. Mm. Yeah, so wow. it's, yeah, this is, but then you have like jam jar, um, so, uh, there's a sweet Syrahs, which is, I think it's coming out of Cal mm, Australia, and it is 57 grams per liter. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's, in comparison, 15 sounds a lot when you compare it to one, but not so much when you compare it to 57. Yeah. Yeah, and then when you get real sweet wines, like ice wines and things like that, it's going to be way up, like in the hundreds. But it gives it a viscosity, like mm -hmm. you see how more body that has that's yeah. a lot of it is dissolved sugar but this is 2001 apothic red am i right i don't know the year but this is definitely apothic red <laughs> yep the first wine i've ever tasted that's right yeah mm -hmm. and it's got there's definitely merlot in here because mm -hmm. that chocolatiness yeah you probably paired it Syrah. with the chocolate Oh yeah, mm -hmm. probably some Syrah. There's a, like a blueberryness, and then the Zinfandel, big bunch of, of um, like cherries and like fruit bomb. Mm -hmm. California Zinfandel yeah. is is big fruit bomb. I said 2021 was my first guess. This is I think Apothic Red. 2021. Hey hey, I feel like a winner. Brings back memories like for like all kinds of album release parties. Because it was so popular, people would get like a case of Pothic Red and a case of Pothic White. Mm. And and just like, this is what we're drinking. Because everybody likes it. Yeah. It's tasty and it's, it's, it's yummy. It's got enough sweetness that if you're not serving anything else, mm -hmm. you're fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's the, the most classic New World Red. Good Cheers. Shot. Yay. Okay, I am blinded. You are blinded? Mm hmm Wild card. What kind of bottle is that in? It sounds like it's got waves. Can't you get a magnum? <laughs> You're holding it like this. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm ready. Can I do something? Mm -hmm. All right, take off your blindfold. Why are you weird? <laughs> okay. It's frothy. Did you <laughs> pour it from a height? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. What the heck? 
That's what I was laughing about because I smelled it. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> Who is she? Okay, this needs to calm down. It's very bubbly. Is it gonna calm down? Not. Not really. today? Not, not completely. <laughs> All if, right, well. If you think this is just pouring bubbles, then that is not right. It's. That's a hint. Youngish? If you see why it's a wild card now? My gosh. <laughs> if you took like um, a thing of like very, very, very young red wine from like a Malbec or something without a lot of tannin and you pour it in half a can of Coke <laughs> and then stir it in some extra sugar. So. Bing. It's a sangria of some sort, pre-mixed. Um, I don't know who makes this, some giant vat store somewhere. I know this is not the thing you would go for. No, can you tell? I'm sorry, Sarah. I know you like this, but... How do you know it's Sarah? Just feeling it. <laughs> Love you. I'm not saying you're a party girl. Thing this is. <laughs> and come on, Sarah! <laughs> but I knew this would throw you off and just be a kind of a gag last one. So. She's triggered the judgment. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good about it. Like, just well, accepting what it's, it's not faulted. It has no faults. It's Here's clear. It's young. It's it's got some sort of freakish bubble <laughs> that and it's dense. Like, what the heck? You can't see through this. And when you try, it's like a sink full of blood. I don't know. It's some pre premixed sangria from <clears throat> something that is not cellared in Canada. It's from the US. It's not made in Canada. It's uh, an American product and it's really lovely. For other people. For other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no way. Okay. Presante. Bubbles. <laughs> Red Sangria, product of Spain. Shut up. Okay. <sighs> All right, here we go. Spain. Your bottle yes, is so cute. Cab Sauv? Cab Sauv. Okay. Orange, lemon juice, touch of cinnamon for a refreshing and enjoyable drink. But <clears throat> yeah, I think overall you did great. Thanks. Because <laughs> no, you did. The beginning, you were you got it down to the Okanagan, and you got the year exactly right. And Pothic, you got the exact brand, the exact year. And then there's no way you could have guessed the no. last one. Well, I knew it was sangria. You got it that it was sangria. I didn't say it was frizzante, but I I alluded to the fizziness. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So frizzante is like light light fizz. It's not like champagne fizz. Mm -hmm. bubbles going up but it's so dense that you couldn't see if there were bubbles going up because yeah. it's like bah. <laughs> and, and sangra is spanish for blood so a sink full of blood is apropos all right i defend myself <laughs> with that that's a good way to end that <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week gosh dang <laughs>